What's up my crypto legends? How's everyone doing? Hope you had a pretty nice trading day today. I had a good trading day today. Hopefully you did also. Let's analyze the situation here for Bitcoin because we got a perfect breakdown to the to the downside of course. We got a beautiful bounce at that low $18,800 range. I got to say it guys, exactly as predicted. And we're going to go through that situation right now. Of course, connect with the community. Also, take a look at the charts, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and most importantly, S&P 500 and the DXY. S&P 500 at support managed, you know, we did get that rejection that's going down. I don't know really why Bitcoin is, is having that pump. It must be more because of the DXY. DXY is getting that drop today, as you can see on the 15 minute chart, getting that drop. We're losing here a little bit of support. We are at another support that we're going to talk about and we are probably forming a bullish pattern right here okay this is not really a massive big breakdown we are probably forming a kind of a descending wedge scenario we're going to be very very cautious because if it starts breaking the lower highs well of course it will be bad for bitcoin bitcoin is at resistance dxy is at support what happens when the dxy is at support and gets a bounce and bitcoin's at resistance well of course bitcoin comes down so we need to be very very cautious at this level we're going to go through that level in just one second okay keeping the educational content guys first but but and this is a big but guys let's just go quickly through you know what happened today because it was absolutely phenomenal let me just play here right away the video from this descending triangle we did get a little bit of choppy action okay i did manage to hold this trade um uh, to all the way down here we made some pretty nice profits i could see in the community also that they made some pretty nice profits taking you know um taking those trades absolutely phenomenal guy we're making a killing this week making an absolute killing um let me just go through today's video uh, so you can go through you know what we were talking about and then take a look at that chart so if you do get that projected move where is this projected move going to go down to very likely to this level we've got the descending triangle projected move from textbook right it should be something like that we do know that this level is a big big resistance that will turn into support just like we did yesterday as you can see here so that is a level that we're probably going to reach maybe in the next coming hours this uh and guys that is the exact level that we talked about in today's live stream i mean you can 
say that we have random lines on the chart and this is, doesn't mean anything, but when you have you know, something, a projected move playing out to the exact perfection, of course, if this is support and you are shorting from this range, then you wanna take profits. You did have another opportunity right there, which we'll explain in just one second, all right? We like the volume breakout, hitting the, breaking the support, turning into resistance, a little bit of volatility. It was a little bit of a, you know, emotional trade right there because you're getting above support, but it was the exact short also. You either had this short or this short to get to that low. And of course, if this is support, what are we looking for here? We are either looking for taking profits and maybe entering a long position, right? A hedge long position. The other scenario that we talked about in today's live stream, if you haven't watched the live stream today, you can check it out, all right? In minute 20, we were talking also about the bullish Gartley pattern. 618, the other one's 382 approximately, and then you can have a 78. And the 7.8 is just at this major support level. I mean, it all lines up that it's potentially going to get that leg down, guys. And of course, on that Gartley pattern, what is a Gartley bullish Gartley pattern? Once you hit those 7.8 levels from these lows, guys, from this low over here to the high, you can see we were just not to the exact dollar, almost, but the 7-8 range, looking at that Gartley pattern, this is a bullish pattern. When you have that move 7-8 to the downside at this level, hitting this major support level right there, and you, you, you know, you can clearly see, you know, the, the Gart bullish Gartley pattern, it's a buying, it's a buying pattern, right? It's a, that's why it's called bullish. When you hit that 7-8 range, it's a buy and you're aiming to get all the way up to potentially the 618 and the C point, which is your take profit too. Um, you can see right over here, um, right there, you know, 618 from the C to B point. We did, we did get that rejection, right? Consolidation, that is giving you time to take profit at the 618 consolidation. You long here, you take profit. You protect position, keep some position open, 50%, 40%, whatever you wish, you know, looking for that second retest of the C point. We came all the way up there, guys. I mean, whoever says that technical analysis and random lines on the chart does not work, Come on, guys, you have it right there. Look at this, bang, to the exact level, and the bullish Gartley hitting the level for that bounce. Oh, that looks good, baby. Look at that, that looks good. So there you have it, guys, a little bit of pure technical analysis, profitable trades right there in today's live stream. It was pretty good. It was pretty damn good. You know, I, pretty, I made some pretty nice profits on, uh, on the short, of course, all the way down here, I was saying to the community, you know, this is taking profit. I've taken more than 60% of profit at this range. Um, I was out. Uh, I didn't manage to long that level. I was happy with my short, took some profits, protected position, got stopped out at break even from the rest of the position. But, you know, it was also a long position. I was out, you know, wasn't in front of the laptop and wasn't interested in, in getting into that long. But so far, I'm at... <laughs> You know, it played to perfection, both scenarios, the leg down and the leg up. That is absolutely beautiful. So where we at right now, guys, is basically at pure resistance. We're at pure resistance. Let me know in the comment section, anybody that got into that short, I can see the Telegram group, people um, getting into that short. That is absolutely phenomenal. I'm really glad that people managed to get into that short, but because of your analysis, not my analysis, I'm not financial advisor, I'm just showing you what I can see, potential patterns, you know, and then you, of course, are the one that is taking that decision. I know maybe a lot of people maybe got stopped out at break even, some people didn't enter because they're fearful and, you know, or they didn't uh, trust their analysis, my analysis, you know, it all depends on your, your, you're the one pulling the trigger, basically. So right now, Bitcoin, I'm gonna go through the comment section right now. I know some people uh, got into the short because of the Telegram group. Um, let's go right away to see where we are right now. Um, basically, we're at resistance, guys. We've got those daily levels, right? We've got massive resistance, massive support, you know, resistance here slightly hitting the level, big consolidation right there, we're just at that level. So basically, we're at resistance, you know, there's probably a high probability in, in, in getting that, you know, that move down. But when you're in a range for such a long time, you know, at some point, we're gonna, we're gonna pop, guys, we're gonna pop, and it might be to the upside, who knows? 
Um, we were inside this range for quite some time, but right now, if we take a look at the fixed range since the 19th of September drop here, we were inside of all of this range, big volatility pump and dump right there. We're at the value area high from this range, as you can see, getting that resistance. Value area low, getting supported nicely, not managing to break through it. As you can see, bounce, bounce, bounce. We at the value area high. This is a resistance zone. So um, at, we're at resistance. DXY is looking pretty bearish. You know, we're at support again. If we take a look at the value area, you know, fixed range, we're at the value area low again, just slightly beneath that range. We're probably not going to hold it this time. We've been holding it right over here, a little bit of a kind of, you know, consolidation, then a massive leg up to the value area high, swing failure, back down to the value area low. Is it going to hold? Is it going to hold? Potentially, yes. It is at support. So the bounce is possible. Um, so uh, this is what we, we can see here. We're at resistance. We can take a look at some short term scenarios at this moment. Volume is not looking too bad at, at all on Bitcoin. You know, we're having these spikes to the upside on, on Bitcoin with some relatively OK volume. It's not huge volume, but we can go through Bitcoin in just one second. We're basically at resistance. No major patterns. The trades today were here. You know, I'm in no trade at this moment. Happy with the trade that I took took some profits it was it's a profitable day uh, you know let's call it a day um let's go right away through the comment section guys smash up that like button for today's live stream come on um uh, you know you got the patterns you got the uh you got what you want i know this is what a lot of people want you know being clear with the scenarios yeah let's go through the comment section and put some nice music on chill out um right alif yeah yeah i'm first baby you got it thank you very much for joining the live stream cornell karam hi andy how are you love the ping pong range today for bitcoin yeah been absolutely phenomenal level to level trading uh, up or down guys uh, that's the question that is the main question up or down it doesn't matter we need to have our levels marked up and the potential scenarios uh, let's go. Is BTC bull market started? Um, I'm not too sure about that. Sideways says Jay Valentino. We're tired to say I missed it. Uh, Andy Alamo y, y el Señor de los Charts says Bufo. Thank you very much. Mark Dutch, thanks for joining the live stream, my man. Thank you ever so much. Got Mark Dutch here, moderator. Game Gap, um, thank you for joining. Um, Let's take a look. Kevin, wake me up at 12K. Come on, wake me up. Why are you going to sleep with these movements? I mean, I'm in some pretty nice profits this week. You know, got some USDT. I, I was thinking in buying some Bitcoin today live, but uh, I haven't bought Bitcoin this week. I haven't bought Bitcoin this week. Um, but I will. I will. I'll probably buy some tomorrow. It doesn't matter. I'm dollar cost averaging every single week. And I want to buy, you know, under 20K, I'm happy to buy a big bunch every single week. Uh, so might do that live tomorrow. So, you know, just to give you, you know, that confidence, you know, that I am accumulating. I do believe in Bitcoin in the future. We're going down to 15K, 10K. Bring it on. We'll buy some more. Um, uh, that's how I know I'm done, lis just done listening to other TA dudes. Andy the ma Andy's the man and he's teaching us how to fish the market. Absolutely, Alif. Absolutely uh, incredible how um, some people manage to 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 make some profit. Um, hello, following since a few weeks, enjoying it and learning few tricks from you. Thanks. Hello, uh, you're very welcome, Andy. Thanks to your amazing short call, I can pay dance lessons for my daughter. <laughs> wow, that's absolutely phenomenal. Having the comment section saying, Andy, thanks to your amazing short, I can uh, pay dance lessons for my daughter. You know, these are the comments that, you know, want me uh, to, to, to continue here with make an insane community. And I will be making even a bigger community in the next coming months uh, to absolutely crush the charts. Best live to be at this crazy moment. Exactly, Ibrahim, Ibrahim Yoj. Um, yeah, I just want to go. Jackie Wood, I got my mum here following you since you were born, says my mum. My mum here in the comment section, always been supporter. She's, she's the number one supporter, of course. Um... So yeah, she's also supporting me here on YouTube and with my trading career. Um, uh, let's go through more comments. Mark Dutch, thank you, my man. Uh, Andy, your sound volume is low. Is, is the volume low? Uh, duh, 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 duh. 
Uh, not sleeping tonight, popcorn and Bitcoin movie all night. Absolutely. Rob, I need the course. I got wrecked. How can you get wrecked? No, 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 no. Don't, do not get wrecked. Stay cautious if you are not, if you do not know more or less what you're doing and you're having good risk management, do not trade anyone, okay? Trading is a dangerous game, okay? If people get into this, um, get into the market thinking, you know, they're going to make huge gains and no, this is a being consistent, not risking too much and, you know, piling up the small, small little gains so you can have some pretty nice gains by the end of the month. Stay cautious by risking too much, guys. Um, how many likes? Bang, bang, Andy, Mark Dutch. Thank you very much. Um, I did take that short, says Maz. Absolutely phenomenal. Short, I shorted that random lines, <laughs> says David Sanchez. You know, if I go, I'm not sure where it is which one which video is it but i was reading some comments saying are you a geography something because of the lines on on a you think it's a map or something i was like oh my goodness you know people um people really don't believe in the power of technical analysis you got the today's live stream guys you get the five minute chart and go in today's live stream whoever doesn't think about you know this playing out and this Gartley playing out at the 18.8k levels to get that massive bounce you just watch today's live stream because you're going to find out that you know uh you know it's, it's not magic it's just pure technical analysis um um right so let's go through the comment section 16k looks like the technical bottom maybe maybe um uh, Andy, I go all in at 10,666 BTC, says Kevin. Um, I'm not sure if we are going to go all the way down there, guys. I am accumulating at these levels. You know, I'm happy enough to accumulate. There's some big, big signs, guys. Big, big signs. And I know a lot of people don't like on-chain data, but this data gives you what is going on, okay? Blockchain is an open source, open network. And you can see the people that have bought high and people that have bought low and or and the sentiment, this is this is chart analysis also, right? And the sentiment is super, super important, you know? Bitcoin long-term holders profitability has declined to levels last seen during the depth of the December 2018 bear market. Long-term hodlers are selling BTC at an average loss of 42% indicating that the spent coins have cost a uh, basis around $32,000. And we haven't seen these low levels since the 2018 uh, bear market lows, okay? So you know the deal, when everybody's in profit, bad sign guys, not everyone can be in profit, market needs to correct. When m a lot of people are in a loss, okay? Uh, on an, at an average of 42%, Come on, guys, you know, these are the moments we want to start buying, you know, despite that we potentially can go lower. You know, I am buying for the long term. You know, I've got that mentality of, right, whatever I buy today, if it's in a loss in, you know, in, in the next couple of months, it doesn't matter. You know, I was playing the game all the way from, you know, 2018, 2019, you know, in profit, in a loss, in profit, in a loss, in profit, in a loss, you know, just going, riding, you know, the bear market till we got that massive run up. You know, this could, this run-up could happen in 2024, 2025, you know, 2027. Um, this is, you know, accumulation moments. You know, people, you know, you get millionaires are made. Rich people, millionaires are made when they buy in the bear market. I got a lot of people. It's absolutely crazy. A lot of people are going to miss out. A lot of people will miss out because they will expect lower, guys. You will expect lower. Dollar cost average and that's it don't you know if you buy today you know i was going to buy 5k you know usdt of um of bitcoin today you know i will buy today tomorrow if we're here it doesn't matter i don't care you know if i buy here and you know in two months we're, we're at 17k it doesn't matter it doesn't matter all right you know you're never going to buy everything at the ultimate low and you're never going to sell at the ultimate high i didn't sell all of my um crypto when we were all-time highs, I were only sold around about 25%. I'm still riding 75% that I accumulated back in 2018, 2019. So, um, but took lot, lots of profits, of course. 20, about 25%. Uh, does, does your mom trade crypto as well, says MJ? No, she doesn't. She, had, she did buy one Bitcoin. I did make her buy one whole Bitcoin. 
when it was around about 9,000 euros. So yeah, she took her profits and she still holds some Bitcoin. She's still got some. <laughs> I did make her buy one whole Bitcoin. Um, always great TA. Thank you, says Nesta. You're very welcome. Thanks for the spot on lesson, says Mark. Wow, phenomenal. I sold already at 27, uh, 27.8, uh, says Kevin. Kevin. Uh, look at the wrong, long run, start accumulated, start accumulation, said Mystic uh, Crypto. Uh, your English is so good, have you learnt it? Well, my mum is from the Isle of Man. She is from uh, uh, Great Britain, from the Isle of Man. She's not English, she, she doesn't like being called that she's English. She's from England, she's from the Isle of Man. So that's why I know uh, English. Uh, millionaires buy at bottoms. <laughs> millionaires buy at bottom, yeah, but where is the bottom? Where is the bottom, Kevin? Uh, is 12K gonna come? I'm not too sure. Uh, don't you prefer to dollar cost average small amounts daily? Uh, yeah, well, daily or weekly. I'm right at this moment, I am buying weekly. Uh, I'm buying weekly. I haven't bought this week, uh, but I will buy uh, tomorrow, very likely. Um, right, let's take a look at some cryptos, guys. Is anyone want me to take a look at some altcoins? Shall we focus on potential, um, you know, movements on Bitcoin? Uh, or do you want to take a look at some altcoins? Come on, it's free, free analysis, from my opinion, of course. Um, still in a short, says reward quant. Um, right, let's take a look at the super chat from Mirai. US stock market way down today. Bitcoin is up. Any reason? Um, I would, I would assume that it's pure technical analysis. You know, people are trading this with millions, millions, millions of dollars. So, it, you know, people trade patterns, people trade, um, you know, Fibonacci levels, people are trading. So they are moving the mar market. You know, we're still in a large sideways range. DXY got a corrective move. So that probably is helping also, okay? To, you know, we had, we have had, you know, the DXY going from 113.7 to all the way to 112.1 um, just today. So, you know, that is a pretty nice move to the downside. It probably helped Bitcoin to get that volatility also to the upside as soon as we, we, we hit this support level. Um, been watching you for a few weeks consistently now and you make it so understandable. Do you have a... Do you have a Patreon Discord community that I can join? Thanks again, says Jonathan Jaston. I will be creating a private Discord, of course, um, which I will be very active with my trading, with my setups, with my risk management, and sharing my analysis, of course, and create a really nice community in Discord uh, for being profitable tr uh, traders, okay? Um, that is gonna happen, absolutely. That will happen. Marais, uh, thanks for the super chat. $5 here, super chat, thanks very much. Look at Neblio, amazing up 10x last two months. Neblio, Neblio, what is Neblio? Is it, is it a crypto? Neblio, N-E-B-L -N -N -E is the ticker symbol. N-B-E-L, uh, is it N-B-E-L? Hang on one second. Um, N-E-B-L. Uh, right. We got it. Neblio, it's up, it's up, it's up. Let's go to the daily chart, zoom out a little bit. Uh, okay, it's pretty, it's up, really nice percentage. I have, it's done a 10X in two months. Um, yeah, it has, wow, absolutely insane. It's uh, absolutely insane, it's done a two, uh, 10X in two months. It's done over a thousand, uh, yeah, over a thousand percent pump. Uh, from the lows here from from June. Wow, I have I have no idea what this crypto project is. I will take a look at it. Why not? It's have an excellent run up. Of course, these are not levels uh, interesting levels to buy, um, but I will take a look at the project. Blockchain simplified. We'll take a look at this project um, because it's ha it has had an excellent run up. It's almost at you know the highs here from 2021. Yeah, insane run up. Wow, wish I would have put a few 10K in this project uh, in July. You know, this is the thing. I would stay very, very cautious right now. You know, it's getting a little bit exhausted. Uh, the price action to the upside. Um, Neblio sounds like a promotional comment. Yes, <laughs> it, it does. It does. 
uh, when people um, put their uh, this kind of uh, cryptocurrency in the comment section, it does. Please, BTC says Cornell. Yeah, enough talk, talk, and let's take a look. I'm already in profits on derivatives thanks to Andy's education content. Took me a few months, but I'm learning so much. Oh, you will learn much more. You will learn much more uh, as soon as I get that course out because, um, yeah, it's going to be simplified. It's going to be, you know, I'm going to make quick, nice, short and sweet little, um, you know, videos, five, 10 minute videos, you know, get them out going from basic to advanced to 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 a pro, you know, with with only the indicators that I use There are not many. All right. But um, definitely to simplify it and and um, and show you show the community about it. Um, don't be someone's exit liquidity. Exactly. Bufo. Uh, let's take a look at um, Bitcoin. Let's take a look at Bitcoin right away. Why not? I got someone here saying, take a look at Bitcoin. Well, what we can see here on Bitcoin is basically, you know, I'm going to give you my my analysis on Bitcoin. Um, it, we at resistance right at this moment. OK, we've claimed these highs, right? We've kind of claimed these highs right there. Massive wick to the upside. Whoever shorted this range and did not take profit when you need to take profit, guys, when you're scalping day trading, you go level to level, right? This is a take profit zone. It's the projected move from this descending triangle scenario. We were talking about the exhaustion here from lower highs. And um, yeah, this was the projected move. We hit that level. Come on, guys, to the exact dollar. Uh, it, it, absolutely phenomenal. So you take profits here no matter what. I had people in the Telegram pe um, group saying, uh, shall we take profits or not? Hey. Of course, you know, of course, we're taking profits here. If we say that this is the level where we could bounce because also we could form a Gartley patterning hit the seven, eight range and have a massive bounce. You know, it's pretty clear, right? You take you shorting here, you take profits down here. So at the end of the day, this was, you know, a really nice, a really, really nice trade. Really nice trade. You know, our trading idea here from today was taking the short from this consolidation, having your stop loss exactly behind of this last lower high, right? Stop loss entry and your take profit all the way down here, guys. Look at the risk to reward, you know, look at, God damn it. Look at that risk to reward right there. You know, with the percentage movement, you know, it's almost, what is it? Um, yeah, it's a three to one risk to reward, right? Three to reward, uh, three to one risk to reward minimum. You know, it's almost a four to one risk to reward. Um, so there you have it, guys. You know, if you are using the or same risk, you know, if I am risking, you know, sometimes it's half a percent, sometimes it's one percent. If it's two or three percent, it's going to be a bit, a bit aggressive for me, but it's up to three percent. So if I'm risking 1% and I'm having a 50% stop loss, right? Because my liquidation price, depending on, on the leverage that I use, you know, I'm not, if I'm risking 1%, I am not having my stop loss at the exact 1%. It might be 50%. My liquidation price is probably up here. So my stop loss is going to be here. Something like that, okay? On average, you need to practice also. Well, this is also going to be a content from the, um, from the live stream, knowing how, knowing how to use properly, you know, isolated. You got a Bybit tutorial down below. And I do explain, you know, isolated trading. Well, you know, it will be more intense in the course, of course. This is very much needed because it doesn't be, it's not shown properly. So, you know, if I'm risking 1% of my capital, it doesn't mean that that 1%, you know, I'm going to wait for the liquidation price. I got a stop loss, you know, that stop loss can be at 40% or 60% of what I am risking. So, um, yeah, basically, if I'm risking this, you know, trade and I get, you know, I just say I got stopped out, right? I lose 50% of my 1%, right? So it's 0.5% I, I, I lose from my, you know, from my capital, from my trading capital. But if I am holding that long position, you know, and I got 60% uh, profits, you know, you can take 100%, you can take 60%, you know, but that already, already is more than double that what I risked. Uh, so if you take all of those profits, you know, um, you know, and on the next trade, you risk the same. You got you basically covered with four stop losses here. Right. If you were to take 100 percent of the trade, 
So you're covered with four stop losses if you're going to risk the same amount of capital that you risked on this trade. And I get a lot of people confused because trading is such, you know, it, 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 it is something because people risk 10%, they risk 50% of their capital, they want to make big trades. If someone has $10,000 in their account, they're not going to risk $100 or $200, they're going to risk $1,000 or they're going to risk, you know, $4,000. What happens? You use too much leverage, you get liquidated, you get stopped out too many times because you haven't got a really profitable um, uh, strategy. You, you, you lose $5,000 from a $10,000 account. <laughs> you To pick up from $5,000 again to $10,000, you know, you might have your lucky shot, but if you're going with lucky shots, you know the deal. Um, you're not going to be consistent. So, um, and bearish divergence on the light button. Yes, exactly. Bearish divergence on the light button. Come on, guys. Absolutely destroy the light button. I'm just giving, you know, today is just a little bit of um, a little bit of a chit chat. We're, we're at we're at resistance, guys. We're at resistance. Um, S&P 500 looking bearish and the DXY, you know, I'm not going to trade anymore today. I'm happy with my, I'm happy with my profits. You know, I'm happy over trading as well is not, you know, why, why am I going to trade now? You know, even though there might be a massive trade out, then I will take it massive uh, high probability trade. But yeah, the more you trade, the more you're at risk also of losing your capital. You know, today was a good day. Let's call it a day. We'll, you know, tomorrow fresh with a coffee. Live stream in the morning, we'll look at uh, some other scenarios. And, uh, the, you know, that's it. DXY, this is, uh, we're below this support range, but yeah, uh, can this be an ABC kind of correction? Um, we're currently at this this little consolidation right now on the DXY, right? We had, a lot, we had a nice consolidation on the 23rd of September, exactly at these levels, managing to hold as support. Not only that, we got the lower lows, trend line, bouncing, getting a reaction to perfection. Stay cautious, guys. If this does get a bounce and we do manage to get back inside of this trend line support, okay, from the higher highs uh, that we talked about in today's live stream, that we got that bounce to, per, to, 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 perf to perfection, basically. Um, yeah, it's not going to be looking good. It will look really nasty if we do get, and we, there is a high possibility right now on DXY after this correction to shoot back up. So if DXY is at support and Bitcoin's at resistance, you know, we got a high probability in, in you know, getting that rejection from the range. Uh, yeah, not much more I can talk about this. You know, we're at resistance, no major patterns. I mean, volume is okay to the upside. I would stay a little, little bit cautious but everything points out that this has just been a liquidity grab from over leveraged short positions, right? And the patterns is telling us, we zoom out a little bit, we take a look at the levels. People, you know, people getting into those shorts late, people shorting late. What do you get when people short late and when we shorting up here? Yeah, we taking profits. We taking that liquidity from those late shorters. And probably getting into a long from this level, right? You need to think how, you know, you need to anticipate that potential movement and not get down here. You know, you did have an opportunity right there also. You know, let's talk about this opportunity because we do talk about, you know, volume wasn't insanely huge. Let's go to the three minute chart. Uh, on the three minute, it was absolutely beautiful, I gotta say. Yeah, it was pretty nice. You know, going to the three minute chart, we talked about this major support from the descending triangle. Support, support, support. Hey, this is what we want to see, guys. This is what we want to see. Confirmation. When that when that um, price action to the upside comes up with a low volume, ah, this is where we are going to get into the trade at that resistance zone. You could have a relatively tight stop loss above the movement with a big candlestick. When you have these big massive candlesticks with high volume, the back of the candlestick is usually your, your safe place, right? This is the safe place. When you have the start of the movement down to the lows and you retrace to the 618 range, getting that little bit of volatility, that is your short entry, guys. Where is your protection? Your protection is the back, is the back of the massive amount of whales 
that are shorting with millions of dollars from this range, they want to push the price lower. So they're going to wait for that um, retracement, people longing, and they are going to push back down with volume. So that is your entry point. Your protective point is behind the volume, right? They are not going to allow the bulls to move above their shorting range. They're not going to allow it most of the times. You might have some big, massive fat finger with billions of dollars that say, right, you shorters, you only have millions, I have billions. Well, then I'm going to I'm gonna wreck you. You know, And this is why you want your stop loss, so you don't get wrecked. So you basically need to read, you know, the volume reading is these are... These, these are big people. These are these are whales. Whales are pushing down a support level. They are not going to let the bulls, with this amount of volume, get above the start of their push down. So you are likely to have that projected move to the downside. And what are they going to do? Of course, they are taking profits from their shorts all the way down here at support because they know that this is a strong level. They know that this has a very interesting, you know, this is very interesting for, a, you know, a lot of people to long. So they know that they're going to probably long as well. They're going to be taking profits from the breakdown. All those late shorters are going to get exterminated with this price action to the upside. And they are patterns for that, guys. They are patterns. Um... We, we're moving down, guys. You know, if not much to say. We were at resistance. DXY, potential bounce. S&P looking choppy at support, but, you know, eh, moving down. Uh, DXY could get that bounce from this range. We know the deal. DXY at support getting a bounce. S&P still moving down. Still can claim the lows. Bitcoin at resistance. We are likely going to correct at this huge resistance zone, guys. Value area high. If you you want to be a fast trader, you, I don't want to. I would not jump into a trade while we're going down. I want to try and get at the highest level, right? So if we're hitting that resistance zone, if we're hitting that resistance zone right over here, right? We got this um, fixed range from the drop, right? We're at the value area high from the trading range for the last ten days. So you at resistance, you want to get at the highest level possible. So if we go to the lower time frames, um, if we go to that low, to the lower time frames here, you probably want to get into the the, the lower high, right? So you you get that move up, you get that rejection. You probably want to get into the fifty percent six one eight from this move down, and you know that would be your 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 in great trade, right? This would be your your, your, your level to short 50% and 618 from this drop. So you can get into the best um, level possible to have a tight stop loss. Once you the price action goes in your favor because we're at resistance, hey, start protecting position. If price comes back up to this range and claims it, you are probably going to get momentum to the upside. So this is why shorting here while we're going down is a bad idea. You know, it, it is possible and likely that you could continue down. But what if you, you need to play defensive trading here? Um, uh, <laughs> Andy sold his chain link for Beagle Inu. Yes, I did, Mark. Um, who let the dogs out? Yes, I know. I got, yeah, my girlfriend is, is, is down there and has just arrived. And Beagle Inu has gone crazy. Um... Uh, I might just take a month off and go on vacation. Come back to start Andy's course and Discord. Alif, wow, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's the thing. You know, we're going to make it pretty intense. It's going to be so easy. I think there's going to be about 20, 30 videos going through, uh, you know, the, 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 you know, from, I'm going to go through basic candlesticks also, guys. You can, you can, you know, I'm going to actually save. You, you can actually jump that that stage if you already know candlesticks and you know basic things support resistance market structure Fibonacci um, but making it super easy to understand guys I want to make the easiest most simple and profitable course there is out there because there's so many so much things with too much information uh, and I want to make it simple what got what dog do you have uh, Andy I have a 
I have um, a beagle. It's a beagle. That's why Mark Dutch is saying beagle inu. Uh, I got a beagle. Uh, in which country are you? Spain. Uh, look, look, BTC is taking a reversal move. Reversal move. Um, well, we, we're at res we're at um, resistance turning into support. Yeah, this is also, you know, if you're shorting all the way up here, you know, this is not a bad, bad hedge long position. Why? Because, you know, let's go with the uptrend, right? Let's go with this momentum that we've had today, you know, for the last few hours. Um, you know, hedging also is extremely important. You know, I need to explain hedging. I, I've been hedging the last few weeks. I've been longing and shorting, you know, longing support, shorting resistance. And there was, you know, all the trades have, have the, both been in, in profits when we were at the middle of the range. And you, you're always going to have, you know, really nice win rate by hedging. This is also a section in the, in the course that I am going to make, guys, because hedging is absolutely phenomenal. We're really at support, guys, but I wouldn't, uh, you know, I would stay cautious. There's a bigger resistance level at this range. I think this support can be broken. If it is broken, uh, it's a major level. Um, we can see we're getting that reaction at this moment from the higher low support, looking at the five minute and this big resistance zone. Volume has been pretty nice to the upside. You know, it's having that one ABC kind of correction, getting consolidation. There is a possibility of a bounce, but I think shorting is is better because we've we've moved up already. We've had a massive run up. Uh, I think shorting is 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 better. Yeah, we're getting that breakdown. It looks like we're going to break down right now as we speak. Um, yeah, S and P is just looking very very bearish. It does look like it wants to claim the lows and maybe break them. DXY at, at a support level could get easily could get that rally in the next coming hours. This will not be good for Bitcoin. Um, yeah, there, there we have it. We've, we are in the breakdown here from this level, um, potentially. So lower is likely. I'm going to wrap it up, guys. Make sure to smash up the like button. Remember, you got insane bonuses on Bybit and Primex BT. Primex BT, if you want to trade S&P 500, Dow Jones, NASDAQ, you name it, Forex, oil, gold, natural gas, they have insane amount of assets. You can use crypto as collateral, such as USDT, Bitcoin, Ethereum. You get 7% added to your deposit. This is for experienced traders. If you're not experienced traders, do not trade, guys, please. Um, because, yeah, do not trade um, if you're not experienced. Uh, you get up to $7,000 worth of bonus on Prime XBT. Insane platform to use stable coins as collateral to trade other markets. They do not have any scam wicks, okay? The exact price action from S&P 500. So, you know, huge exchange. I love Primex BT and I'm using Bitcoin as collateral. Bitcoin is, is the money to trade these assets. On Bybit, you also got an insane bonus. It's another way to support the channel, guys, of course. You got it scrolling down below the channel. You get up to $4,380 that can be claimed at the Rewards Hub once you sign up, okay? You go to the Rewards Hub and you claim that bonus, those bonuses, okay? There are different tabs for the bonuses. Not much to say, guys. Bitcoin breaking down. Lower is likely. We're hitting resistance, you know? I didn't see a major pattern here. You know, this is why, you know, why, why is this support not holding? You know, we're hitting resistance. DXY is hitting support. Could get that bounce. S&P 500 looking extremely bearish. You know, very, very bearish at support, continuing to the downside. Yeah, it's not a good idea to long after having this move to the upside, guys. Stay safe, guys. Thank you very much for joining the live stream. Not much to say. No trade set up. We were at resistance. Coming down was likely. Um, do you trade the inverse perpetual? Yes, I do trade inverse perpetual and also USDT perpetual. I have both Bitcoin and USDT on Bybit. Um, so sometimes I trade, you know, Bitcoin, you know, usually when we, uh, when I'm longing, I would use Bitcoin and when we're shorting, I usually use USDT, you know, um, thank you very much. Mark Dutch, Seb Seb, um, thanks for joining the live stream, my guys, you, insane support from my moderators as always, not much. I'm going to do another live stream tomorrow morning. Uh, it will be around about 10 o'clock, half 10 Central European time. Let's crush the charts, guys. There's opportunities every single day. Let's find them. 
Be patient and win some money, guys. Thank you very much. Check out Bitcoin Sensor's website for the latest, you know, technical analysis ideas that we do post every day. OK, we've got major, major ideas. All right. You can see here, for example, on Ethereum, you know, there was a potential inverse head and shoulder scenario right there. OK, we could have formed the right shoulder and potentially have that move up. This was posted on, on uh, the Bitcoin Sensor's website. You know, there are ideas, you know, so you can get an idea of potential price action and patterns. And if you go and check, take a look at Ethereum uh, on that, you know, potential inverse head and shoulder looking at the 15 minute chart, you know, it did actually uh, have a little bit of momentum to the upside. Thank you very much for joining, guys. We're having that. Wow. Bitcoin dumping as we speak. Yeah, it was. It was really a good shorting range. OK, at resistance, we want to short Bitcoin dumping. That's Mallorcan time. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Not much. Hope you like the educational content, you know, looking at levels. Thank you very much for joining. Peace out.